Hello, today I'm using a new setup, a new tripod, just I thought the hands one would look really cool. Um, I have another mask review. So, I got this mask on eBay again, blah blah blah, £33. I have done re some repairs to this though, but then I, like, I did some repairs, but then I also, like, I had to send it back for something wrong with it, so this is based because the guy said that he did something with it, so I wanted to see what he did because the hose was like really, uh, you know, it was messed up basically. Ooh, nice packaging. Over to one side. Oh, sugar, this is heavy. Very neatly cut open this because this is one of the most valuable masks in my collection. Because where I uh, where I live, they are quite rare. Because you don't see them on eBay; they pop up every now and again. If not, you're looking at flipping ridiculous prices for one of these. But I got this for a quite good price. But I kind of had to dine from the a hose. Um, because of how bad it was, so that's the only down with it. But at least I actually got one. So, I'm this is just a Brit British Mark IV respirator. Uh, I did a review on that one a few months ago, but the one that I had when I did some further research, I believe that's a Canadian Mark IV. This is a British Mark IV, as I said, one of my favorite masks. Oh my god, why does he package it so? Oh, I can see it. That's way. Dee, 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 dee. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. Oh yeah, you did do some nice repairs on that. That's nice. Right, okay. The Mark IV General Service Respirator. So, this is uh, one of my favourite British, British masks used during the war. Um, so, once again, obviously, he oh, actually put, ooh, he put the blue band on it. Nice. Uh, so basically the blue band just means it contains by asbestos or asbestos, however you want to say it. I say asbestos, who cares? No one cares about asbestos, except for me. Uh, taped up the thing, because I think the holes, holes look really cool. So this is the iconic face piece. The other face piece looks similar, but the only difference is they didn't have these really kind of iconic British screw lenses which is actually quite nice so this is the face piece you have your e4 filter and um, so here you have your uh, activated charcoal cotton pad here to block it then your blue asbestos here where the intake goes uh, some people think this is a speech diaphragm it's actually not it's a voice diaphragm um not not a voice diaphragm it's an uh, outtake valve um, just uh, to be honest, you could probably be heard quite clearly with that. I'm just gonna get this up a bit so the mask is easier to see. Two seconds. Oh, sure. Perfect. So, this is the mask. Um, so, the repairs that I did and the guy did. Um, so he replaced the hose right here so it's not actually cracked um the filter he did nothing with he just put some electrical tape where the filter could go and he fixed the straps because the straps were quite broken but if you want to see this is the inside of the mask so that's where your outtake valve would be just here just there and your eyepieces. It's 
And then, yeah. To be honest, these masks are quite claustrophobic. But, um, it's quite a very cool mask. Um, as I said, we're on eBay where I look on it. These are very rare to find, and especially in good condition. This wasn't in that good condition when I first got it because the hose was in a state. I'll put a picture up just now what uh, the eBay thing looked like for sale. Uh, yeah, so on the eBay thing, that's what it looked like, and um, it looked pretty tat up at first. That's why I thought 30, 34th Klein, there's something wrong with it. But all overall, it was just a hose that was really bad, and all the adjustments to there. I plan to you get metal wire to put it back into it looks like legit and all fixed up, but I really um I don't like to modify these masks because I'm a collector, not a modifier. So yeah, that's the mask. If you liked today's video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.